Well, I'm sure this isn't going to leave some comments for sure. Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. All right. So here, here it is. Here it is. I felt like making a video, just, just a tier list. I was also like, okay, what the hell do I want to make for my YouTube channel? I don't feel like making another video essay because, oh my God, it takes way too much time. So it's like, what could I do? What sounds interesting? What sounds fun for me? And then you know what came to me? I was like, okay, okay, let's make a tier list. <laughs> So today I'm going to be taking, I'm just going to go over the scene, I might as well just do that. I'm going to be taking all these RE games, they look great, they look great, and we're going to put them in here, and then someone's going to be upset because, oh my god, I chose the wrong game, I put one that shouldn't have been S and put their favorite in like D or something. Before we go on, <clears throat> there are a few games I have not played in this, ser in this series, like I played a lot of the main lines, actually I think I've played all the main lines, uh, do, 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 do. I played all the main lines except the original first one. I played Remastered on the GameCube as well as the second remaster of Remaster on like Switch, PC, PS4. I actually bought that, oh my god, I bought that like four times. If we count Deadly Silence, I guess as well, which, okay. So yeah, here's all the games. Here it is. Um, I didn't play uh, Gaiden, which, okay, whatever, that didn't really, that's not canon. I never played Survivor, which that's the first person shooter one, right? Okay, no, didn't play that one, didn't play that one. Um, it's a sin that I've never really played Outbreak. I played a few times, like once or twice, because there's like a community mod that was available, which I was like, hell yes, please get me on that. But then no one of my friends wanted to play it, so I'm just like, alright, I'm just stuck not playing Outlast, even though I hear it's such a great series. It's a real tragic time. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna start this out. How are we doing this? Alright, you just gotta throw RE2 at me right now. Alright, I see you. I see you. You're looking pretty good. You're looking pretty good. So, obviously, um, <clears throat> you know, for some context, I actually, um, didn't really get into Resident Evil until super late. Like, I had this period where I was playing video games, like, non-stop, and then I stopped. I didn't play the series growing up. My first RE title was Resident Evil 5. So it was only until recent years that I came back to play the originals, like RE2, RE3. Played them like, I think I have RE2, I played about four or five times now. RE3, I think I enjoyed a little more, which is like, played like seven. So yeah, no, I enjoyed them, but like, be advised. Yeah, I, I came in when the game was already losing the tank controls thing. It was third person, Chris Redfield, you know, boulder punching arms over here. But no, RE2, I'm gonna say, mm, I enjoyed it a lot. I really admire its scenario system, because the scenarios are just so much fun, like... Just seeing how things are altered between them, how you can actually like, grab certain items, and then they could actually not be there for Claire or Leon, depending on who's doing the B scenario. Because of the scenario system, I'm actually going to put this at an S, also because it's crazy what they did with this one. It's it's really good. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> Alright, so Code Veronica, here we go. Here's the one I wish we would get a remake for, but <laughs> Capcom. Capcom's not gonna do it. They're not gonna touch that for some reason. They just want to pretend that ah, doesn't exist. I it's weird to me. <clears throat> Code Veronica. I played this only once. I have watched a few LPs online. It's pretty good. It's actually one of the longest, right? I think it's like the longest um, tank controlled RE games. It's also the last one I think in the series. Um, <clears throat> I actually really enjoyed its story. It's very different from a lot of the original games. Um, I also would say, like, Code Veronica is probably the most challenging of the tank control RE games in the series. Like, even Nemesis I had trouble with. Um, for right now, because I don't know where I want it yet, I'm gonna see how the rest of the tier list goes, because, oh my god, I have a lot- I have a lot of favorites in the series, so it's gonna be a disaster, and I don't want us to put all of them in S and be like, okay, you're all my favorites, because, like, who likes that? No one wants that. <laughs> Alright, Dark Side Chronicles, here we go. I played this, um twice, I believe. I played it with a friend. I actually really enjoyed the light gun play. It was actually really cool, and it had the original story, um, with Leon and Krauser. Like, that was pretty neat to see. Ooh. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it enough. I'm putting it at a B for right now. I'm probably going to, like, this is going to change. It's going to alter. I'm gonna go through the list and probably alter it a bit to be like, all right, all right, let's see, all right, because we can't, we can't have all of them at S rank. Okay. Well, here it is. Alright, RE4. This ought to be a fun one. So, <laughs> I've replayed this one at least five times. Um, it's a good game. I, I feel like it is overhyped by everyone. Like, it definitely, like, redefined the genre. It definitely, like, you know, paved way for what would become the series, the RE5, and then, okay, RE6, I guess. Um, what I like about RE4 is it's constantly changing things up. Um, I do feel like this game, oddly, like, it's weird to say, it goes for too long. Like, when I get to the island section, I'm kind of like, alright, alright, this is fine. 
Um, for right now, I'm going to ponder this. I'm going to say A for right now. I enjoy it. I replay it like every year at least once. And also, side note, Ashley is not nearly as annoying as the fanbase wants to make her out to be. Okay. Alright, original Resident Evil, here we go. Here we go, this is- this is some good food right here. This is absolutely some good food that we're looking at here. It is pretty good. You know what, hold up, I'm gonna zoom this in a little more, because we should be able to see this a little better. There we go. Yeah, this is- this game is nothing but good food. It's like, subtle horror, it's some good sh it's some good stuff. I didn't want to swear, but you know what I was gonna say there. For that one, for right now, I'm putting this at A. Because, yeah, that's some good stuff. Good stuff. Um, fun little tidbit. When I first played the GameCube version, it actually gave me nightmares. It was a good time. Moving my face, Cam, because I realize it's starting to block the list. This is a hot mess of a video, but we're just gonna go with it. You feel me? Okay. Here we go. Resident Evil 2 Remake. If any of you guys follow me online, you know I sweat this a lot. I sweat this game so much. I play it, like, at least once a month on my Twitch, which also, hey, if you're not following me on Twitch, you should fix that. This, this is going for an A. Um... No, actually, it's going for an S, who am I kidding? I, I love it too much. It's like, <clears throat> it's a great reimagining. I There is something that I don't like about it. Like, I don't like that they drop the scenario system, like how things can be altered and things. Like, it's not nearly as robust as the original one where it has, it's like, different how certain things can change in the scenarios between A and B. It's always, like, the same thing. Like, say, uh, in Claire A, Birkin kills uh, Mr. X. Spoilers, I guess, but then Mr. X still shows up in Leon's B scenario. I, I wish, like, they kind of had a little more structure in the scenarios. They kind of just like, alright, whatever. Oh boy, the most recent Resident Evil game to come out to date. Yep, yeah, this came out last year in April, right? Okay. So, I've been sweating for a Jill game for a long time. I really have. I love Jill Valentine. She is my favorite character in the series. So seeing her in a game, I was like, yes, yes. Thank you, Capcom. Been waiting since Revelations. You know when that came out? Uh, when it came out? 2012. We've been waiting for something. All we got was, like, Revelations 2, and it was like, oh, we got, like, a message from Jill, which was, like, nothing. So Resident Evil 3, I know a lot of people weren't, like, super jazzed about because, like, they just took a lot out. It was kind of like they just took whatever they wanted from the original game, and they were like, all right, we'll use that, and then we're going to forget everything. Like, okay, the, the clock tower. We don't talk about the clock tower. Another issue people didn't like was, um, Nemesis. Like, they kind of made Nemesis appear very weak, which I kind of see it. Like, in terms of the remakes, I think they did Nemesis dirty, and, like, Mr. X is more intimidating than Nemesis, which I guess that can be chalked up to Jill having the emergency evade, because I've definitely done runs where, like, Nemesis is a joke. I can just, so I can just do emergency evade, get some critical hits, grab some goodies, and then run away. It's some good stuff, some good times. Um... But then this game has Carlos, which Carlos has one of the best redesigns I've ever seen in the series. Which, if you also follow me on Twitter, you know I'm thirsty for this character. Absolutely. Like, Capcom revamped both of them, and they both look great. I love them. I love them to death. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like this game, but I did. I did actually enjoy this game. It's constantly moving. Like, there's no fluff. I mean, maybe when you're trying to get, like, the vaccine, I guess that's kind of fluff because the lab section's alright. I'm still gonna put this, for right now... At an A, which, oops, mmm, yeah, I'm playing an A, who am I kidding? <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Oh, we're getting close to that 6. Everyone's gonna be happy about that. Yeah, oh, look, there's a giraffe. Alright, so Resident Evil 5. Oh, this is my first game in the series where I actually played through it completely. I remembered when, like, I first saw this game, I was like, whoa, co-op. It's pretty cool. I remember playing the demo for, like, multiple days, like, mo like just playing the same few levels that the, ga the demo offered. Um, this game is actually, like, the first game I actually went on my way to Platinum, so this, this game kind of holds, like, it has some personal, like, what the word, what's the one I'm looking for? <clears throat> Value to me. So I'm actually putting this right now, I'm actually gonna put RE5 as a, a, more because, like, it's not the best subtle horror game, it's more of an action game, definitely, but, like, it's just a really good co-op experience, and also just because, yeah, I have a lot of value in it, it has a lot of fond memories. But you know what I won't do? RE6. <clears throat> RE6, um, I mean, we've seen a lot of videos. Like, it's a great game. It's just not a great RE game, I would say. Like, it's very different. They took RE5's action approach, and they were like, all right, all right, what if, what if we made it, like, Michael Bay directed? Because there were, like, explosions happening everywhere. I was just like, okay, Michael Bay had to have a part in this. It's fine. It's fine. It's a great co-op action game, but it's just not, like, it's not what I come to Resident Evil for, to be honest. It's, it's not. It's, mm. I've actually played through each scenario on my own, which I actually, one thing I will say is they changed the co-op options a lot better. Like, I think they've improved it, 
from RE5, because like if you're using the AI, Sheva or Chris, they're kind of a mess. They just raced all your resources and such. But in RE6, when you have Helena, uh, whoever is your AI really partner, they have their own, like they don't die. You don't have to worry about their health. You don't have to worry about what they're carrying. It's just like, all right, it's just you. So that I actually really appreciate with RE6, um, but still it's just, it just wasn't fun for me. I know like a lot of people, like it has its following. It has its following, I can respect that. It's just, all right, here's where I'm at. I'm putting this right now at a D. I don't think I'm, pro I, I'm too nice. I would never, I don't think I'm gonna put anything at an F because I know it's like, okay, well. Cause like, I see the value in it. I see the value in it. It's still a decent game. All right, here we go. RE7, um, it's a good spooky game. It's very, it is very good. It's good food. Um, I wasn't a kind of Ethan. Honestly, I think what brought me to the yard was like Jack Baker and like all the stuff that's like happening there. Um, the molded weren't really the most interesting enemies to fight. Like, they seem like a Diet Coke ooze from Resident Evil Relations, which, heh, that's coming up soon. I'm gonna put RE7 at a B for right now. <clears throat> Alright, as you all know, I love Jill so much, so when Jill was coming back in Revelations, I was absolutely like, yes please, yes please. This game, this game made me buy, on the 3DS, it made me buy the Circle Pad Pro. Do any of you remember that? It was the thing that gave you like an extra, like, thumb pad to work with. I bought it for just that game, and it was really good. I played it, beat it once, and then played it again right after. I really love the raid mode as well, like, that was really cool. Um, honestly, it was just really cool to see, like, this game was able to run on a handheld, and it just looked... It just looked really good. It was good for the platform, I think. I know, like, some people were a little iffy, because, like, you change scenarios based on, like, your characters. Like, you would switch off, like, you'd be on Jill, and then go to Chris or Keith, um... Which, those missions were a little iffy, I would admit, but the ship sections are fantastic to me. So this, I'm putting it at a B right now. It'll probably move to an A, we'll see what happens. If it gets too big over here, like, obviously I might have to be like, alright, someone's got to get voted off the island over here. Okay, <clears throat> so Umbrella Chronicles. I played this, like, once. It was alright. I definitely prefer Dark Side Chronicles personally. I don't really have much to say. Um, the Wesker mode was kind of cool. You had to play as him, like, reviving himself and escaping the Spencer Mansion. I don't really got much on this one. I'm gonna put this at a C. Please forgive me, any people who stand this game. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Here we go. RE0. Alright. Everyone loves Rebecca. I know- well, most people love Rebecca. Except Shinji Mikami. Alright, so... I didn't really enjoy Zero. I was kind of confused with Zero. Like... I really loved the train sections, but I did not like when you went to the, like, the... Uh, the testing facility, I believe they called it. It was alright. It was an alright game. I wasn't looking at the leeches. Um, I thought the mechanic where you could throw stuff on the ground to pick them up was kind of neat, I guess, but it still was weird that the game didn't have its own traditional item box. And then also, the like, I feel like the zombies were undermined because they just kept throwing in, like, random animal-type infected, like the, um... I don't remember what they're called. I don't remember what they're called at all. Um, the infected monkeys, which those were more... Like, those were just super annoying to deal with. <laughs> Also, the bat fight in the church was a joke. I, I didn't like that one. I'm gonna put Ari- I'm gonna be nice, put Resident Evil Zero at a C for right now. Actually, I'm gonna put that at D. Who am I kidding? Because I don't think I ever see myself replaying it. I, I played it twice. Um, I meant to go back and try it in Wesker mode. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, so Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. I actually played this a bunch with some family members, as well as like online when it was on 3DS. Uh, actually, it's only been on 3DS, who am I kidding? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. It was a good it was a good testing game for like what Revelations was to come, which actually had a demo to Revelations, and I played that a bunch. It was pretty good. Um, honestly, I really enjoyed this game. It was fun. That's really it. It was just fun, and that's why I'm putting it at least at a C for right now. It didn't have a story, so I'm not putting it any higher than that because that just seems like a joke. Um, it was good. Like, they gave characters perks and stuff like that. They brought back Barry and Rebecca, which yes, they were brought back in RE5, but hey, this game... This game had Claire. For some reason, didn't have Leon. If it had Leon, that, that would go to a B. That would go to right to a B. It, could, it was so close, so close. Alright. Umbrella Corpse. This game, I never played, but I watched tons of gameplay of it, and it just... It didn't look good. It didn't look good. It looked like a game, I guess. Um, even though I didn't play it, I'm not gonna put it in F. Actually, mm, I'm gonna put it in a D. I didn't play it, so I'm not gonna bother. Like... This list is gonna stop around here, because I never played Gaiden yet, as we said earlier before. We're gonna stop, we still have like five more to go. But yeah, Umbrella Corp, we're gonna leave it right, you know, and I, I'm gonna put it there, because it just... No one talks about this game. No one talks about it. At least not on my feed, which I try to follow a bunch of, like, RE people. Um, or people who, like, love the series.
Okay, Operation Raccoon City. Here we go. So I need to actually come back to this game at some point. I just redownloaded on Steam. I played only through the villain scenario. So there's actually two scenarios. One where you actually play as, yeah, the Umbrella Corp agents. And then the second one, I believe it's the heroes. I heard the heroes one is really good. The main campaign, this is all right. It's all right. I actually enjoy the campaign a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. This one never like scream like, okay, I need to replay this like right away. I do remember the multiplayer being super crazy good. Like it was... The whole thing was just, alright. I remembered being super hyped for it, and I was kind of just like, alright. Um, they, they really wanted to hype this game up as being like, okay, you can, what can you do in this game? You can kill Leon S. Kennedy. And it's like, alright, that's cool. But then that was really like, that was, I don't know, was that it? It was alright. That's really what I'm going to give it to. It's, it was only alright. I'm putting it at a C for right now. Okay, here, here we have some good food. This is some good stuff right here. RE3 Nemesis. I loved it. It was really good. Nemesis scares the crap out of anyone to hear his like little like theme song playing that game. I actually just recently got a Vita just so I can play this game on the go. Cause I'm like, all right, all right, I gotta play this and get some. I gotta get some spooks on the go here. So yeah, Resident Evil Three. Is there else really to add to that? I really love the branching paths thing that you can do in this game, or the live selections, I believe it's called. Sorry, that was something I was actually upset that was missing in Resident Evil Three. Like I knew there was gonna be some stuff that was cut. I was upset that the branching, just like the the selecting scenes were cut completely as well okay as well as the clock tower yeah this game i'm going to put i'm gonna put it as an s rank because it was it was good it was great okay so resident evil revelations 2 this game was all right to me i actually i know a lot of people really enjoy this game i actually prefer the original revelations over this one i hear that this is a fantastic co-op game i wish it was available like online because i think yeah no unless you do mods it's, it's only uh, local play um this game i was really hoping it'd be more of a claire game but this is kind of like the story mo mostly revolved around mora and barry i i still enjoyed it i also was really interested in the fact that they made like alex wesker appear that was kind of cool um where am i gonna put this actually because like i don't hate this game but i'm not like oh yes let's replay this game right away you feel me I think I'm going to put this, for right now, at a B. I need someone around me. <laughs> I know we're social distancing at this time, but I need someone around me to play this locally with me, please. I'll just install the mods so, like get this to play online. Alright, Resident Evil Deadly Silence. This game was pretty decent for a, a DS port of the game. Um, I don't have much else to say like, about this. This is Resident Evil 1. That's, that's really it. Um, obviously, at this point, I would probably just play the original remaster because it's available on Switch. Hey, that's nice. Minus, like, some issues with the loading times of that game I noticed on Switch. This, I'm gonna put at a C for right now, because it's a good version. It's fine. But, like, you can just get the, re the Resident Evil remaster on, you know, PC, PS4, um, Switch, I said a minute ago. Yeah, there are options. There are options. I can't believe it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Everyone's favorite, Resistance. Um... <clears throat> This one's kind of weird to me. Like, I feel like a lot of people thought that Resident Evil 3 wasn't as good because this game released alongside it, which I find it weird that it was released alongside it. I feel like this should have been its own package or so, or released separately or something. Because, like, hmm. I don't really know. Like, people really wanted to blame this for halting RE3's full potential, but remember this, for those that you do, that do not know, this was made by a different studio than RE3 Remake. Two different studios doing this. Um... <clears throat> This game, honestly, it was just alright. I played it a few times on stream, and it, it, it's just alright. I didn't like that the matchmaking was by host, so like if the host, which is usually the mastermind, disconnects and the whole game's over. Honestly, it was a cool idea, but I wish since it was like a spin-off title, they would have done like, they would have added a bunch of more characters, like maybe add Leon, Claire, like they already have the models, add maybe RE7 Chris. Because, like, that's available, I guess. Um, even Carlos. Like, I was, I constantly was hoping they would add Carlos, and the only DLC we got was Jill. Oh, and Nikolai. And Nikolai, right, right. <clears throat> I think that was the only DLC characters we had. But, yeah, they they did add stuff like new costumes and stuff like that, which, side note for RE3, I was very upset. They added, like, so many costumes for Jill, but didn't have them available in RE3. That was confusing to me. That was very confusing to me. Resistance... It alright. It alright. It's already not being supported again. Honestly, I wish this was fine-tuned. I wish it could have competed maybe with DBD a little bit, but it just kind of came and... It kind of came and went. It had its niche. It had its cult following. People played it. I played it. <clears throat> but it just didn't stick. 
I kind of wish that maybe like six months down the line, like when Resident Evil 3 came out, I wish that Capcom would have split the two apart. Had this be available for like 20, 30 bucks, I would probably say 20, and do it that way. I think that would have helped the base, like just develop more of a player base, because that's like a $6 entry fee then to get this game if people wanted to play it. This, I'm putting it at, honestly, yeah, I'm putting it at a D right now, because it just, I, I wish it could have been more, it just wasn't. It was only alright. Okay, and then we're left with these lovely ones that I haven't played. This is what we call my shame right now. Particularly, mostly with Outbreak, yeah. Mostly with Outbreak. This one, yeah, probably. Survivor, I don't really... Yeah, I'll look up LPs for it. Gaiden, I've watched... What? I've watched Ink Ribbon do a, do a run of it, and it's alright. It's not canon. If this was canon, Leon isn't Leon, then. Alright, so let's see. Here's what we're left with right now. Here's what we got. Alright, so I'm gonna go through this one more time and see if this is, like, my final choice. So Resident Evil 2, that checks out. Resident Evil 2 again, that checks out. RE3, looking pretty good up there, I see you. RE4, I feel like, even though it's at an A, I wonder if anyone's gonna be upset that's like, how dare you not put this on an S rank? How dare you? Yeah, I think it's gonna stay there for right now. Um, Resident Evil, yeah, yeah. RE3, I feel like people think it should be lower. I feel like that's gonna be the general census. Probably same with RE5, I think most people probably put like a B or C rank if I had like to really guess. <clears throat> Okay, Code Veronica checks out, checks out. Honestly, I was kind of worried I was going to have, like, mostly just these three filled, but I kind of have it a little bit spread out. Obviously, it looks like most, like, B is the most filled up. Yeah. Alright, Code Ver uh, what's Code Veronica, excuse me. Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry, RE6 fans and RE0, my bad. Yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. I think this is, I think this is pretty good. I think this is, we're going to stamp this, you know, stamp my imaginary stamp. Uh, it's complete. All right, all right. This is my tier list. I did a tier list. What did you do today? Oh god. All right. I wonder how this is gonna come out. I've never done a video like this, but yeah, no. If you like this, be sure to like, do the subscribe thing, and yeah, please be um gentle in the comments. I'm not ready to get destroyed yet. All right. Thank you everyone for watching, and have a lovely day. All right. Mm, bye now. I hope this wasn't too cringe. Please comment that it wasn't too cringe or I will cry.